Chapter 5 Raphael There's nothingness after destruction. Matthias is not suffering, Ariel says, holding Cassiel around the shoulders. Isn't that right, Raphael? Ariel's eyes meet Raphael's. Raphael can feel Ariel's kindness in his heart, and knows she means well. It's true, Raphael smiles sympathetically. And you don't have to attend the trial, Cassiel. Only Michael, Gabriel, and myself must attend, per the statutes. He takes a seat on the other side of the sobbing angel. Good, he sniffles. I don't want to go. I can't, he shakes his head. I feel so responsible. Matthias was one of my people, he sniffles and sobs. I felt him go, die, and I, he shakes his head, I can't. That's fine, and you're not required to, unless Raguel requests your testimony, Ariel says softly. And if that's the case, we'll work with him, and Fanuel, to make sure it's not too taxing on you, more than it has been. I can say no, can't I? He looks into Raphael's eyes, and his heart breaks for the blonde angel. Raphael exchanges a look with Ariel before nodding. Yes, you can say no, but it may not help Heaven's case if you refuse. Raphael runs his fingers through Cassiel's hair and pulls him into a hug. We have you, brother. A knock at the door brings Gabriel. Ariel, we need you. He closes the door after a brief look at Raphael. Ariel is careful as she transitions the lowest of the archangel into Raphael's waiting arms. I'll be back as quickly as I can. Cassiel nods and looks at Raphael. Have you ever felt this? This loss? This amount of pain? I didn't know it would hurt like this. The door closes as Ariel leaves them. No, I have not lost one of my subordinates, Raphael answers honestly. But we must remember Matthias, Raphael nods. Remember him fondly. I do, Cassiel rubs his eyes. He was funny, always had jokes to tell from the earth. Did he? Raphael smiles softly. What was your favorite one? Um, it was... When is a door not a door? He chuckles through his tear-streaked face. I don't know. When is a door not a door? Raphael asks. When it's a jar, he chuckles. Raphael smiles, too. That's terrible. Still funny. Small critters start to cluster at Cassiel's feet. Your friends are here, Raphael smiles, and they look concerned. Cassiel leans down, lifting one of his rabbits in one hand and two mice in another. Hello, my dear ones. I'll be okay. Yes, you will, Raphael agrees with a bright smile, rubbing his hands over Cassiel's arms. I will keep you updated about the trial. That is coming, isn't it? Cassiel sighs. What will you wear? Wear? Raphael didn't consider that. To the trial. Yeah, my watches bring me things, shows, books. Most people who go to trials wear suits, he says softly and rubs his eyes. I have some magazines. Would that help you ease your mind? To help me find something suitable to wear? Raphael looks at his robes. I have worn little else but this attire. Come. He shuffles the rabbit into Raphael's arms. I think we need to work on your earthly information. This coming from an angel who has never been. Raphael has to smile. Thank you, brother. Cassiel turns, leaning down to lift a hedgehog. Thank you, Raphael, for helping me and mine find justice. It's what brothers do, Cassiel. Raphael smiles and puts his free arm around Cassiel's shoulders. 
while still holding the rabbit. Come on. They stand and go out of the room toward Cassiel's room, a barrage of small animals following along the floor behind them. When they reach Cassiel's room, Raphael laughs as the little creatures come in and scatter around. I love what you've done. Grass, trees, he turns around. I like it. I wanted something a little different than everyone else. I mean, he sniffles and rubs his nose, grabbing up some books on a desk by an oak tree. Michael has his television thing. Gabriel, that loud device. It's a piano, Raphael smiles, and he's rather good at it. Raphael smiles again. You should hear the guitar he plays. It's almost like, I'm not sure, but it's lovely. It just sounds like noise to me, and your room. And what is wrong with my room? It's just filled with books and that bed chair thing. It's called a lounge, and I like to read. Raphael smiles. You know this. Yeah, but it's all from God's library, Cassiel says, and sniffles again, rubbing his hand over his nose. Raphael crosses his arms. And what's wrong with that? I just think you could do with some variety. Cassiel hands him a magazine. That's a movie star. He points to the man on the cover, a tall black man, dressed in a beautiful sequin suit. There is a beautiful woman draped on his arm. She is wearing a gray dress with a yellow sash. See, aren't they beautiful? Humans are so lovely, so many shapes and colors, all beautiful. Cassiel leans against Raphael and points to the woman. She's got your hair color. I see that. Raphael turns the pages of the magazine and finds more pictures of the two. I like the gray. He turns to the next page. The woman's hands are holding a black handbag, and her nails are brightly colored. What did she do to her fingers? Oh, that's called nail paint, I believe. Interesting, Raphael says. It is like art that one wears. Exactly. Cassiel turned around in a circle and leaned down, lifting a small rabbit into his arms. You know what? Take it with you. Go down to see Frigg. Show her. I shouldn't, Raphael says, folding the book in half and offering it back. It feels like a vanity. That's because it is. Go and take it with you. Cassio pushes it into his older brother's arms. We don't go to Earth, Raphael says. No, I don't go to Earth. You've been before, Cassio shrugs. Haven't you? That was thousands of years ago, Raphael says softly. Time to go see what the new world has, I think. Cassio smiles at him. Take it. Go see Frigg. What about you? Raphael's hand finds his shoulder. Cassio wipes his eyes. I will be okay. He nods. I feel much better here. This is my room, after all. Raphael looks up and around. God made their quarters for them. Each room assigned to an angel is designed perfectly around that angel's comfort. They have always felt safest in their own spaces. Raphael clutches the magazine to his chest. If you're sure. Cassiel smiles. I am. Ariel said she'd stop by later and have tea with me. Raphael comes forward to hug Cassiel. If you need me, I know where your room is, Cassiel says softly. So does Harper. He steps out of the embrace, motioning backward. Raphael assumes that means Cassiel will send this little critter to fetch him if needed. Which one is that again? Raphael cannot keep track of all the critters and their names. The mouse. Cassiel turns and points to a mouse sitting on a stump. Say hello, Harper. Nothing happens. The mouse gets down and runs off. 
I'm still working on that. Raphael smiles. I'll check in later, he says, but Cassiel is already going to his animals. Raphael keeps the book against his chest and exits out the door, but he does look back one last time, just to be sure it's okay to leave Cassiel there, before he heads to his own room to flip through the pages of the magazine.